federal government is entering week two of its shutdown. It happened after budget talks in Congress failed, and since then, Republicans and Democrats can't reach a compromise. But as Matthew Petrillo tells us, the share of the blame may not be equal between the two parties. Congressional Republicans like Representative Lou Barletta voted to shut down the federal government in an attempt to defund the Affordable Health Care Act, which is sometimes called Obamacare. Barletta calls the vote fair, but is now distancing himself from the current stalemate in Congress. Barletta joined a handful of bipartisan House members saying they'd back the passage of a government funding plan if a portion of the Affordable Health Care Act is repealed. Barletta says he wants to eliminate a medical device tax. No, I believe that the uh, best chance we have of stopping Obamacare is dismantling it piece by piece. And I believe that we can get bipartisan support and at the same time get the government back to work. When asked if he thinks it's fair to use the Affordable Health Care Act as a bargaining chip, he says yes. It should be tied to such a tax because uh, that's how it's funded. There's a part of Obamacare that's funded through this budget. But 30 congressional Tea Party members say Barletta's idea isn't tough enough and have since branded Barletta and four other Pennsylvania Republican congressmen who are willing to end the federal government shutdown as rhinos, or Republican in name only. They emailed images like this to Keystone Tea Party members last week, urging them to keep the pressure on by calling all members of the state's congressional delegation. Despite that, Barletta distanced himself from the Tea Party, but instead put the blame on Democrats. We're very far apart. Uh, the Senate and the president have have outright refused to negotiate. Barletta says some Democrats are willing to defund the Affordable Health Care Act, but as Tea Party members continue to stronghold negotiations, it appears the only thing happening in Congress is the collapse of institutional Republican power. Matthew Petrillo, News 13.